Hey, y'all, you got Doug Gore, Dougie Doo here with Cajun Softwash. I want to ask those of you that are in this industry a question. Are you building your business for today or are you building your business for tomorrow? Those of you that know me know that I often say do the best job you can for your clients every single time. Do the best job you can for your clients every single time. And I have a simple reason for that. That is part of my determination to build my company for tomorrow and not just for today. I'm not looking to take dollars and, and just keep taking dollars. I'm looking to build a company and, and to um, do what's right for my customers and, and, and build for tomorrow so that I don't have to fight and scratch every day to try to get business. So I want a very high referral rate, and I get that by doing a, a great job every single time. There's a reason for all of this and the reason that I'm bringing this to you. So we just came off of the Labor Day weekend and uh, got to spend time with my family. Absolutely love that um, it, because it's, it seems like it's a rarity sometimes. We received a higher than normal call volume and email volume for that type of a weekend. So typically when you get into a Labor Day, Memorial Day, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter, your call volume for that two or three, four days tends to drop off and sometimes become somewhat non-existent because people are enjoying their families. They're not out looking for a service company. Sometimes they are, but for the most part, they're not. So we had a, a, a slightly higher than normal uh, call and email, but that's not the part that really got me. The part that got me was the statements that were made by a few people. When I say a few, more than three, less than six. So four, five, six, three, four, five, six, more than three. So probably four or five, maybe as many as six people made the same comment. Okay. And that comment was, we're looking for another estimate. So this is what happens. You call into our company and we'll ask, how did you hear about us? Well, this this one guy in particular that I went out and I, I met with him, and his thing was, well, I asked him, how did you hear about us? Well, we got a flyer in the mail from this other company. And so we got an estimate from him, but now we want to get an estimate from you as well. Okay, great. No problem. So I go about my business. I didn't ask for any information after that. He offered it, and he told me the name of the company and all this kind of stuff. But it's kind of the way he said, well, you know, we this other company and we got an estimate from them. And, you know, I just I like to do my homework. And so I, I feel like I need a second estimate. It's kind of how he said it that I was just I don't remember his exact words, but it, it stuck with me. Are you building your company for today or are you building your company for tomorrow? That's my question I have for you. So the curiosity got the best of me. I know this other company very well. And so I went online and I did a Google search for them. Same way I would do a search for my company. Instead of Cajun Softwash, I typed in their company name. Well, if you type in your company name, really the only things that are going to come up are going to be involving your company or should be involving your company. So three things came up. Obviously, a lot of stuff came up in the Google search. But the first three things are what was impressive to me. Okay, or what had left the impression upon me. So the first thing that came up was the advertisement that he ran for his company. Okay, um, so he's out there, he's actively advertising to gain business. The second thing that came up was his website, which is what you would expect. Okay, the third thing that came up, that's where the disturbance comes in. Now he's got the fourth thing. Well, the fourth thing was, uh, I think it was a home advisor thing. And he, he was rated uh, 4.7 out of 5 stars. Hey, that's great, right? 4.7 stars out of 5. Um, the problem was number three. Okay. Are you building your company for today or are you building your company for tomorrow? Are you constantly trying to get jobs or are you starting to get referrals and things come in? So. This company has been in business a year longer than, than, than our company has. That third thing on the list 
was a lawsuit that was filed against his company, but not for damage to a to 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 a personal to someone's property. So, are you building your business for today or for tomorrow? That's the point of this, right? So, do the best job you can for your client every single time, but also do the best job you can for your employees all the time. You're going to have employees that are going to quit. You're going to have employees that fire you or that you fire, vice versa. They fire you, they quit, you fire them, they are forced to quit. Um, and you might even get, I, I had a, a former employee go on and do a Google review, rated our company a one star, um, and put just down some ridiculous stuff. I had to fight that to get that review removed. Okay, That's different. This guy's employee went out and filed a lawsuit against him for not paying overtime wages. Okay, Are you building for today or for tomorrow? Treat your employees with the same dignity and respect. Treat them correctly. I'm not saying he's done anything wrong. I don't know what the outcome of it is. Um, it's been a couple of years. From, I think it was said it was 2016. Um, so I'm sure I can now find out because it's going to be a matter of public record. I don't know that I care enough to do that. It's not just about the clients and doing the best job you can for your clients every single time. It's not just about your employees and doing right by your employees every single time. Do what's right for everybody all the time. Just do the best job you can for everybody, for everything. Think about this. When you're driving your truck down the road, and you've got a wrap on your truck, or you've got magnets on your truck, or you've got a trailer in the back with a, 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 a logo on the back. Are you cutting anybody off? If you're cutting somebody off, you're not building your business for tomorrow. You're building it for today. As an example, if I stop, four-way stop, and I have the right-of-way, if we kind of got there at the same time or it's questionable, I wave the other person on, hey, come on. Look at my wrap truck as you drive by, because I'm building a business for tomorrow and not today. I happen to know this company very well, and I know that they've been in business a year longer than us. I know that they don't run the trucks that we run. And I know that quite often they can get to a job the very next day within two days, maybe three days at tops, but usually they can get to that job the next day. I've had a lot of complaints about, well, yeah, we called this company, but they don't answer the phone. So answer your phones. Are you building your business for today or for tomorrow? Answering your phones is, is very important to answer to, to building your business, not only today, but for tomorrow. Everything that I'm suggesting to you is building your business for today and for tomorrow, right? Both. You want to build for both. But you really should focus more towards building for the future. So my point is, too, that today's buyer is has more on their fingertips to research your company than ever before. We're, we're dealing with a much smarter buyer than we ever have. Or... or not much smarter is the wrong word, a much more educated buyer, okay? They can educate themselves. They can find anything online for the most part. Whether it's the truth or a lie, it doesn't matter. They can find it there. It's up to you to protect your online presence. It's up to you to do what's right by your employees and do the right job for your clients. All these kinds of things every single time, right? Don't cut that person off, those kinds of things. Are you building your business for today? Or are you building your business for tomorrow? In your decision making, look at it and say, is this something that will help my business tomorrow? Got to answer that. Appreciate you all for listening to me. Doug, you do out.